but that sweaty English runner is working pretty hard, pretty damn hard. Good. <coughs> oh dear. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. It's afternoon. This has been a great start to the video. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the centre of Frankfurt. We're here to, yeah, do a recce of the Frankfurt Marathon course, <laughs> which will probably be the, my main goal race for, yeah, for the rest of 2019. So, yeah, we, you join us on an absolutely baking hot day. It is well over 30 degrees. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but about 32, 33 degrees. Even more of that out in the sunshine where we're going to be today. So yeah, it is going to be a tough run. I'm not going to be running this fast whatsoever because <laughs> it is verging on dangerous levels of heat and especially in the city um, as well with all the tarmac and the cars and everything. It's just, it's just way too hot to be doing anything too seriously. And I've also forgotten all of my hydration supplies. So we're going to have to just stop and go into shops and there are things to get water on the road. Hopefully there'll be some water fountains out there. So not the best start to this run so far. But yeah, we've lathered up in the very high factor sun cream. Gonna keep it, um, yeah, as I say, nice and relaxed. But it is a beautiful city. We've had a really nice start to our trip here so far. And yeah, the sun has come out, which is lovely. It's probably nicer than it raining. So yeah, and Sarah's also going to be running the route today. Um, for her preparation because she has also got the Frankfurt Marathon coming up as a big goal race. But we'll chat about all of that out on the course. Ready for a fun run, Sarah? Yes. Should we get this done? Yes. In the heat Let's of go. Frankfurt. Let's go. Right, see you later. Here we go. So yeah, I'm not really sure what pace I'm going to be running today, but I'm going to make it as very casually easy as I possibly can. And Sarah's going to go round in about five hours or so. You will see. Time it does not matter. We're here to wreck the course. And yeah, we obviously <laughs> ran the marathon in Berlin a couple of days ago as well. So just going to take it very easy, nice and relaxed, take in the city and see what it's all about. And yeah, looking like a lovely start so far. This is what's up ahead of me. A lovely straight road with a few less cars on in a few weeks. Hey guys, so we're a couple of K in. And yeah, the route to start with is really, really complicated. I'm sure it won't be on race day. No one's gonna get lost on race day, but trying to follow it on the GPS. We've got lines going all over the place. So I've got a rough idea of what the course is like in my head uh, before we set off. But all of these very tall buildings around, it's gonna, be an issue for the GPS and we need to learn to not have to rely on the GPS watches because a lot of these big city centre races, oh dear, hold on, a lot of these big city centre races are not, look, I'm trying to get down this road there now. So as you can see, right, I want to stop, when you do a lot of these recce runs for big city marathons. <laughs> They're not easy. Uh, I was having a chat with Sarah earlier. Do you think people come to London and think, oh, let's do the London Marathon route or go to New York and do the Lord. You know, they're a bloody nightmare, these routes, because a lot of them obviously are on very wide roads. They're the busy roads, even on a Saturday afternoon. Right, I need to look up my watch again and find out where we're going. We're getting very lost so far, but We'll be back on course in a minute once we've got all these squiggly bits out of the way. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, we're up to about 8k running through a big Chinese festival at the moment, which is not <laughs> that easy and making me very hungry. But yeah, lots of fun and things we deal with in the middle of training runs day. But yeah, kind of enjoying it a little bit more now. The route is making a bit more sense. But it's so busy everywhere we go. Now we've got a bit of a marching band to get through. Mad! Oh! Hopefully it won't 
be like this on race day. Right guys, we're about 15k into the run, rolling about 424k pace. Trying my best to keep out of the sun. Uh, yeah, we're all out of water now, so that didn't last long. Haven't found a single water fountain yet in 15k running, so I'm on the lookout for a shop. If I don't see one in 2k though, I have to get the phone out and go and find somewhere because it is roasting as I keep saying. Right, right guys. Right guys, so we've got to about 10 miles into around about 16k. Watch this saying nearly 26 to go. Uh, we managed to find a Shell petrol station that kind of just came out of nowhere. So super happy, just picked up a Gatorade because that's going to have some sort of like electrolytes and stuff in there. Um, and then a massive bottle of water. So got about a litre and a half now back on board. Um, if I haven't already said already, I did leave, stupidly left all my uh, pack and bottles and everything back in the UK. I don't know why, I just didn't think about it because um, I thought Sarah would be with me the whole time. But then of course she's running Frankfurt, so she wants to run this course by herself. So. <laughs> Okay, so we are, what was that, 24k ish in, we had to uh, cut a little bit of the course there because to get on this motorway you have to go up the on-ramp and we can't run up an on-ramp uh, during a practice run. So uh, yeah, they're probably going to come up a little bit short, we'll make it up at the end. Uh, yeah, we're three litres of fluids down, two gels down, and yeah, not feeling too bad, probably up to about 35 degrees C so, you now getting towards the 100 degrees Fahrenheit and way way in the distance over there is the town centre that we're in earlier and we're right out in the sticks now I'll put the map up on the screen of where we are and yeah feeling still feeling pretty good pretty nice enjoying the run a little bit more now we're out of town it's about nine miles to go need to get some drinks I found another store just gonna go in see what we can find. I need about another two litres I think to get to the end. Yeah we're a good three and a bit litres down now and oh it is lovely being in here. Right let's find some drinks and we'll see you back on the road. Right guys quick check in we've got about 9k to go about 33k gone and yeah we're on litre number seven of uh, drinks today, which just goes to show that, yeah, it's, it's baking hot, as I, as I said about a billion times. But like, I feel absolutely fine. It's just a pain in the backside because I keep having to stop every few K at petrol stations and whatever to get more drinks. So yeah, in hot weather, just slow down. I'm running relatively and it's always relatively, I'm not trying to show up. <laughs> uh, slow pace today at about 422 k's. I think we're running out at the moment. Yeah, just gonna slow down, keep hydrated, keep as best as you can out the sun. Lots of sun cream on, and you can keep ticking away. Right guys, 5k to go, back in the centre of town. Live music going on in everybody else. Uh, having fun, doing what they want to do and what they enjoy on a Sunday, Saturday, including myself as well. So yeah, feeling pretty dehydrated again. I'm not stopping for any more. Can't afford to. It's been about 15 pounds on a drink so far. Petrol stations, very expensive places in Germany to buy your drinks. Right, let's dart across the road here. Staying safe out here having fun and getting it done. Right guys, we're down to the last 2k and look at what, well you can probably see behind me, it's not that easy to get to all the crowds in the centre of Frankfurt but still it's good fun, some good uh, agility, cobbled streets and uh, lots of people dressed up in their finest out in Frankfurt. Glasses of wine, some people having coffees and 
yeah, just out enjoying their day. And they've got some sweaty English runner, probably thinking, probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? Where are we? But that sweaty English runner is working pretty hard, pretty damn hard to reach some dreams that seem very, very difficult right now. But at Frankfurt, it's just a little bit cooler on race day. Oh, oh I've got a fan. Let's see if we can get some water. Oh dear, just need to dip my hat. That feels lovely. There's basketball going on. People out enjoying their Saturday afternoon. What a city! Enjoying this. Right, 2K. We're going to finish. We get it. Right guys, we're finishing up the run, about 42k ish on the watch. And yeah, overall it's been a very hot day, has it? I haven't said that yet. And, but yeah, lots of fun getting to know the course. Very, very different from Berlin. Oh, nice uh, Model 3 Tesla. Performance edition. Elon, if you're watching, it's Christmas coming up. <laughs> Wouldn't mind what that is. Yeah, so you finish. That was just where we started here and then round the corner and we're coming up to the festival hall so yeah we can't go inside today because that's where the run finishes very rare in marathon running this building here you finish inside with a massive disco going on so with that we're going to finish up the run as close as we can get right outside and yeah we're going to be about 4.11, 4.12-ish pace for the run and yeah it's been just over a marathon distance whoa it's going to be fun being back here in a few weeks time but what a city what a course what a run sorry if I was moaning a little bit out there thank you very much Frankfurt thank you Germany it's been a great run we'll be back here in a few weeks inside and having a big disco party going on. I'll put, put what it is up on the screen now. Right, we're gonna have a chill, wait for Sarah to come in, who's been out getting it done as well, and I hope you've enjoyed her little videos. And there's a fountain just over there, so I'm gonna go and explore that and cool down, and then, yeah, we'll get some dinner. Right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. So Sarah has been hallucinating and dreaming of her favorite fast food restaurant, which is... Chipotle. Chipotle. So not very German, but Sarah is getting very good at her Spanish. So yeah. This is Mexican. And what language are they speaking Mexico? Oh, yeah, it's alright, fine. Spanish. Always gotta have the last laugh. So, yeah, so we're gonna get in, carb up, get some protein and beans and as much free tap water as we can get our hands on. Right, let's do the, our worst and get some big oh, got vegan tofu. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So we're back in uh, London, well just outside London at Stansted Airport, back um, in the UK, flew in this morning, it's just before nine o'clock and yeah, super tired, we've got to get back, we've still got some runs to do today and catching up with work and all of that sort of stuff as well because uh, everything's been a bit delayed. So uh, yeah, thanks for following along guys with the trip and adventure over the last few days. Really, really good to get those runs in. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly sort of new thing for the channel, a bit of sort of daily vlogging for what we're up to and everything that's going on. So we're gonna have lots more of this type of stuff coming up, so yeah. Anything to add, Sarah? I don't think so. Maybe like and share on the videos. Patreon. Pat yeah, Patreon. Uh, check out the Patreon links below to support the channel as well and the merch and the hats and yeah thank you so much guys for making this all possible and yeah we need to decide Berlin or Frankfurt what's it going to be let me know down in the comments what do you think is going to be best for this effort and yeah we'll be, I'll be letting you know in a few weeks time with what we're going to go for so yeah that's it guys thank you very much for following and we'll see you in the next one